In this simulation, we have a Bunsen burner with a ring stand, a crucible, a desiccator, an analytical balance, and some sample to work with. Interacting with these instruments generally requires that you click on them. For example, the crucible can be moved to the desiccator or the balance by clicking on either. As usual, you can turn on the balance by clicking the knob and tear the balance by clicking on the tear button. Your sample can be dispensed to the crucible by clicking it. The Bunsen burner can be turned on by clicking anywhere near the tip of the nozzle. Once lit, you can adjust the amounts of propane and air to achieve the desired flame height and color. Your crucible can be placed on the ring stand by clicking on it. This process of drying your sample can be timed using the timer provided. Over time, you'll notice your sample change color as water is evaporating. Once you have let the appropriate amount of time pass, you can turn off the Bunsen burner by clicking it again, and place your crucible in the desiccator by clicking on the desiccator. Once your sample is cooled, you can weigh it by clicking on the balance again. This process may be repeated as many times as you wish by clicking on the restart button at the bottom left of your screen. In part B, we have the sample from part A, an analytical balance, a weighing boat and filter paper, a 250 milliliter beaker on a stir plate, a graduated cylinder and watch glass, and a Buckner funnel and flask. We also have hydrochloric acid, magnesium, and water on the shelf to use. Your sample can be added to your beaker by clicking on it. You can add water to your sample in the beaker by clicking the deionized water bottle and selecting a volume using your up and down arrow keys. To add HCL, first activate the HCL bottle by clicking it, and then click on the graduated cylinder and press your up or down arrows to increase or decrease the volume selected. Next, add the required amount of magnesium by clicking on the bottle and choosing the appropriate amounts in the dialog. This will transfer the magnesium to the weighing boat. Click the weighing boat to transfer the magnesium to your beaker. Then turn on the stirring rod by clicking the button on the hot plate. At this point, you can add a watch glass to cover the beaker. Once the solution turns white and your sample turns a copper color, you can then add the appropriate amount of hydrochloric acid to your beaker in the same manner as before. At this point, you can turn on your balance. Add the filter paper to the weighing boat by clicking it and choosing the appropriate option. Now add them both to the balance by clicking on the weighing boat. Note the mass of the weighing boat and filter paper together. You can now add the filter paper to the Buckner funnel by clicking and selecting the appropriate option. If the appropriate amount of time has passed for your solution to stir, you may now transfer your sample to the Buckner funnel for filtering. If enough time hasn't passed yet, you'll be notified when you try to transfer your sample. Once you transfer your sample to the Buckner funnel and start the filtration process, it will take three minutes to complete. When the three minutes is up, as shown on your timer, you can click on your filter paper and move it with your sample over to the weighing boat. Now you can record your mass. If at any time you need further instructions, please consult the help button at the bottom right.